Ever since the pandemic, most of us were forced to stay at home, which made gaming a popular activity to do. Mobile gaming specifically became more popular because it's just within the reach of our pockets, and one of the top mechanics in it is the gotcha system. What exactly is it, and how does it work? Is it good or bad for you? In this video, the modern day geeks will talk about what gotcha games are and how they became so popular. A gotcha game is based on Gashapon, or the toy capsule vending machine in Japan. Gashapon is a coin-operated vending machine, and you can get different toys or items depending on your luck. Gotcha is a virtual version of Gashapon, where players can obtain items or characters. Well, gotchas are famous for being addicting, fun, and sometimes frustrating. There is nothing wrong with trying to pull on your favorite character, weapon, or just by testing luck. Usually, these gotcha events are time-limited, where the player can obtain their desired item in a given time frame only. The more you try to participate, the more in-game currency you will need. If you run out of that in-game currency, you will have to use real-life money for you to be able to participate in gotchas. This type of gaming system is common in free-to-play mobile games. Popular games like Genshin Impact, Cookie Run, Ark Knights, and Sony's Fate Grand Order use gotcha systems. Let's talk about the most popular gacha game, Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact is the highest grossing game in their first year. They rely on microtransactions involving the player's money to purchase RNG or random number generator gacha systems. The game's story is about a traveler in search of their lost sibling while traveling in Tevat. In their journey, the travelers are able to meet with many different charismatic characters. It is mostly for solo players, but you can still explore the world of Tevat in co-op mode and be able to play with friends. The game can also be played on Android, iOS, PC, and PlayStation. Because they are cross-platform, their reach is wider, introducing the gacha system to those who are not familiar with it. The game made an estimated revenue between $2.3 to $3.7 billion, beating Fortnite's first year revenue by almost $1 billion. The players of this game have been spending on average $160 million per month since December 2020. Even though they have high revenue, the game is not forcing you to pay for content because it's a free-to-play game. You can play story chapters and explore freely without paying anything. But the catch is that you will get attached to the characters, and you may want to spend your real-life money in order to participate more in the gotcha system of the game, which is very addicting to some. But don't worry, it's only a matter of choice. Four characters are given for free in the beginning. The Traveler, or the main character, Luminar Aether, Amber, Kea, and Lisa. In addition to that, there's going to be 10 free wishes on the beginner's banner, introducing you to how the gotcha system in the game works after you reach a certain adventure rank. Wishing on the limited banner is optional, but as the story progresses, it becomes hard to beat some enemies depending on your build if you don't have a new or rare character. Nojima described three stages of social gaming services. The hook, which means the game provides a chance to play. Retention, keeping the player interested to play continuously. And monetization, by motivating players to pay for game features. In these games, gotchas can be free of charge by rewarding players a chance to pull, but they may need to purchase in-game currency for more chances of getting their desired character or item. Once the players get their gotcha results, especially if they fail to get the item they want, they may continue to pay more, especially for the limited event gotchas. The gotcha topic is controversial for having an addictive nature, trying to make the players spend their money and time on the random number generator. From the looks of it, gotcha sounds ridiculous, but for the players, they feel some attachment to the story, characters, and their achievements. Let's take a look at the 31-year-old man named Daigo, who spent $70,000 on Sony's Fate Grand Order game. The summoning system is randomized, and there's a very low chance of getting a high-tier character. The game itself is free to play, but the low rate of getting what you want is triggering the players to spend real-world money to get more quartz and summon the character that they want. Daigo said he has no regrets as long as he's having fun. Some people spend $18 on a movie and feel moved. I've spent $70,000 on FGO, but it moves me. 
We won't tell you how to spend your money, but make sure that you have the capability to not be in debt because of gotcha, and make sure to check on yourself. Sure, gotcha is fun, gaming is too. While sometimes it's frustrating if you don't get what you want, that doesn't mean that you should throw everything into a game that has a chance to close one day. Then again, in this life, everything is temporary, so why not try to have some fun, but moderately. Do you play gotcha games? What do you think of them? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more up-to-date content.